Hi, I heard you like free stuff. There's a pretty good chance you found this channel through one of the dozens of free presets, titles, and templates that I've made for DaVinci Resolve. If you don't know about any of that, you know, click around the channel or head over to sterlingsupply.co. But this video is about a new free resource for DaVinci Resolve that I'm very, very excited to tell you all about uh, that I didn't make. <laughs> And let me tell you, I am so excited to tell you all about Tom. Tom Maroney, he has two videos on his channel, uh, both about this free tool that he has made. Uh, the second one just about an update to that tool. That tool uh, being an auto subtitles script for DaVinci Resolve that you can use completely for free in the free version of Resolve. And also uh, connect it to uh, all of your custom pre-animated titles or titles uh, that you get from you know any other title pack or stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, I've tested it, I like it a lot. Uh, let me show it to you and then you know kick you over to, to Tom's channel to check out more. Let's jump into things with an example because I'll be able to talk more um, while this is sort of processing. I've got a clip here um, from a previous video I did. And the first step I'm actually gonna do is uh, I'm gonna come to uh, titles. Uh, I'm gonna grab my subtitle pro preset. And by default, this is just a little scale up. Uh, I'm actually gonna hop into animation, make that uh, a little bit shorter, about three frames. I'm also gonna hop over to settings and you know drag this down into a little more traditional. Actually, let me toggle on this little shake. So it toggles on and then it wiggles around. Um, I'll pull up that speed as well, so it has a little bit more energy. From this point, I'm actually gonna drag this back into my media pool, and you'll see it pops up Subtitle Pro, and I can delete this title. Then, I'm gonna come up to Workspace, Scripts, and I have this Auto Subs option. I'll click that, and we'll get a cool little window. Maybe after things for a little bit. Let them think. Hey, window. And we've got tons of options here. Once we generate subtitles, others will be here. You'll be able to hop around there. We have a number of cool settings. Um, it will bring in these subtitles as um, these like uh, text plus presets you're creating. So they need to live on a video track. You need to tell it what video track. It has an option for different transcription model. So you can choose uh, you know, how much time you want to spend versus how accurate you want it to be. Uh, and it has an English only mode, which it does say is more accurate. But uh, the producer of this plugin did also say it just works in all these languages. Um, we'll talk more about a little bit of the cool stuff happening behind the scenes. Or you can always load in a custom uh, subtitles file uh, and some really important settings, max words, max characters, um, and split by gap in between uh, your subtitles if you want to. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down to some, what, like four max words. If you want to censor any words, you can do that. I think that's really cool. And if you want to format, like going all uppercase, which we will do, boom, uh, and remove commas and uh, periods or full stops. Uh, I'll leave that off for now. But now, uh, all I need to do, oh, it's hop back, it's hop back. Let me drag this off screen. And uh, I'm not sure if you need to do this on a timeline just like this, but especially if you're doing this for only a section of your timeline, uh, I'm gonna set in and out points, boom, and then back in this little dealio. I'm gonna click generate subtitles and you'll see it is going to actually render the audio for that clip by itself and then start transcribing. Uh, I had a little window pop up as it do its thing, but also you can sort of check on this as it goes. Uh, if you open back up that workspace tab and click on console, you'll see, boom, um, we are transcribing that it was a very short clip. It happened very fast. I tried this on a longer clip previously and actually on this tri uh, transcribe progress, it went, you know, you could see like every percentage point between zero and 100, but this went pretty quick. It did all that. Uh, if I look at my timeline, hey, it added all those to uh, my timeline. And if I start to play back, um, uh, uh, something I meant to change um, is it was on this subtitle pro to toggle off the animation out. If I wanted to do that now, I believe I would have to undo this, drag it back to the bin, and sort of just re-export those out. But for showing you, hey, you want some audio as well? For instance, in this video, uh, I'm not gonna talk about Magic Animate, even though I think it's one of the most incredible plugins for Resolve ever uh, by Mr. Alex Tech. I oh, little quick Alex Tech. Alex Tech. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good example. Um, by if I grab that Mr and come to Mr. Alex Tech, give that a little more time. Uh, if I hop back to this other window I have, the only small issue I believe I've run into um, is that 
Uh, it's trying to jump in time code to when I have these. This has sort of been like hit or miss for me. Um, it's jumping around time code, but I believe this has something to do with the default uh, time code of your timeline. Uh, let me see if I can adjust this here. Um, Cause it normally does have this starting time code of one, um, which bumps things. So maybe you need to bump it to two and it, it's hopping around, boom, 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 boom. Okay, uh, this might be actually like an export option you would need to dial in, but you can jump around by that. And you can also, uh, I, you remember I changed that in the title themselves. If I click this refresh, you'll notice it pulled that Mr. to Mr. Alex Tech to that final title. And now this uh, matches correctly. Oh, except no, it doubled all that time code again <laughs> when I did it that way. Okay, so hey, maybe, maybe, Maybe I'll talk to Tom about this, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But if I look at the timeline itself, I've got all my subtitles. And you know, why not? Let's go ahead and fix this, fix this up. In his demo, he does show it off just with a blank text plus title. But if I grab this subtitle pro, change this animation to out for four frames. Um, just pull this down a little bit. I'm dragging this. Okay, back there. Get rid of it here. Workspace. Scripts. Auto subs. Waiting. Let me, let me try to do this. If I storage folder. Oh, I could also browse here. Since it did already generate that SRT file, if I copy this address and paste it in here, select that, open up. Oh, now it's just adding it, adding it. Cool, okay, there is a method if you have already run through the process of exporting your audio to relink that SRT file, just navigate to that same folder where it will save that out. Obviously, if you're working with much longer clips, uh, that will be very useful, but for now, it also did the thing from before of working. Uh, but you know, my, my subtitle pro by itself, um, which of course you can customize and again and all that, um, works great. Grabbed Alex Tech, grabbed Resolve, even magic animate, look at that, capitalized it. Neat. Oh, I also said I was gonna talk um, about cool stuff while it was up and going, um, but then we got caught in the mix of it. But hey, with some live troubleshooting, cool. Okay, back to Tom. <laughs> If you head over to Tom's channel, you'll be able to learn a lot more about this project. Um, it is hosted all over on GitHub and uh, something he did that was very cool because you know, there is a lot going on here. Tom is connecting Resolve to the uh, OpenAI like whisper, whisper program along with StableTS, which I don't know what that is. I'm not super in that world, um, but it's working really great. All of this does run locally on your computer, I believe. And with all the layers of stuff going on, um, something he did that I totally appreciate is that he does have this sort of automatic setup option. If you're on Mac, I believe you have to jump through a ho few hoops and sort of manually install things, make sure things are in the right folder. Um, but he has this auto setup on Windows. Um, by default, you have this PowerShell program. And if you just copy this code over into PowerShell and let it run, it will grab the important stuff that it needs to from all the different places. It will put it where it needs to go. And then when you uh, open up Resolve, it'll just be there waiting for you. I had to jump through one extra hoop um, because at first, uh, an important step that he notes is that you do need to run PowerShell as an administrator. I didn't the first time, so I had to like delete some folders it created when it tried to install it, but couldn't. But after that, um, you know, yeah, it just installed on its own and it was great. Um, of course, I need to uh, call out, hey, he has, uh, you can support the Autosubs development with his buy me a coffee link. As I've said before, um, with the dozens of free presets and products I've made, um, some people are very kind and very generous, but also when you make free stuff online, plenty of people just grab it for free. Um, and if everyone that grabbed one of my free things just donated a dollar, of course, or, you know, tipped a dollar, um, my life would be drastically changed. Not that I'm expecting that, but you know, um, for as much as I know, lots of you will love and use this tool, you know, help, uh, Tom out, buy him a coffee, support this ongoing development, and you know, hopefully encourage him to make more awesome tools like this. Um, there, there's plenty of cool opportunities. Of course, go check out Tom's video as well, which I will link in the description. I just wanted to show you another cool thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.